becomes champion as long as he is the champion. Uh, a good point, King, but he's got some serious work to do if he's going to become a champion tonight. I can't believe Shawn Michaels coming back after four years, not only just to be good, but to be great, to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the world that could have done that. Well, we've seen Triple H come back from some great injury himself, though. I mean, a torn quadriceps, the trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series. Heck, you could probably cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. Oh, he's the guy his opponent, what's he going for here? Two King, but you're probably right. There's no way that size and strength advantage of the number one contender won't come into play. And let's not forget something else that works in Triple H's favor here tonight. He's got tremendous history in this type of contest. Maybe the greatest moment of his career came in a three stages of hell match. You're talking about Triple H's finest hour at No Way Out in 2001 when he beat Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. Two straight falls in a three fall match. What an incredible performance. for so long living in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find it interesting that before Shawn Michaels was injured, Triple H had two title reigns. When Shawn Michaels got hurt and had to sit down for four years, Triple H had ten title reigns. Well, I think that what you just... Shawn Michaels hits the jackpot with a huge move. Look at this! His face being grinded like a 
No more, huh? Well, just as Triple H wanted to cripple Shawn Michaels to put HBK back in a wheelchair, Shawn Michaels, and this has got to be it. Damn, kick out after long two. Ooh, ooh, and he got dropped. Man. Oh, that's devastating. Going to the top, high risk. This match has taken so much out of this oh, guy. Uh. Incoming. Oh, lights out. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, my. Michael's put him out. Can he score the pin? Two. Oh, it's no, it's just get off. He's even thinks up. The winner of this fall, even in this bout, has one fall apiece. Shawn Michaels. Both these superstars are spent, but Shawn Michaels has got it back to even. Now, wait a minute. And now, the third and deciding fall will be contested as a leather match. Oh, my gosh. Once again, it goes from bad to worse. You know, Michael, I don't think either one of these superstars have the strength or power left to even climb a ladder. Oh, it's, maybe the triple H. it's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant to so many in the WWE Universe. Away from the ring for over four years, King, after severely injuring his back all the way back in 1998. Well, I realize all that, but was it a smart decision for him to make this comeback? I mean, could it cost him his help in later years? Well, it might, but it's something Shawn Michaels had to do. HBK is a proud athlete with the soul of a warrior. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. Got his hands on the ladder already. And he's heading back inside the ring. And he's going for that ladder. Here it oh my gosh, he stopped it. Man, uh -oh. I thought he was done for. Here we go. Triple H, the number one contender, seems to need to be the world heavyweight champion to even exist in WWE. He needs it to simply survive. Well, that's Shawn Michaels' assumption. We heard Shawn Michaels say that about Triple H, and he certainly believes it. Well, that's what this is all about. No. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to get level there. Man, I used to never see this happen to HBK. I'd never see the showstopper get beat up like this. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be? Or is it just a testament to the cerebral assassin's ability? Well, you know, it's probably a little bit of both. And if HBK or the showstopper really is half a step slower, believe me, the cerebral assassin is going to take every advantage of it. Look at this! Hanging by his neck! 
Oh, no, I no, no, no. Fuck. Quatschen, drüber quatschen. Bla 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 bla. Geh mal, geh mal, geh mal. Oh mein lieber Welt, dass dieser Ton auch wieder weg und dann haben wir alle nichts davon. Ja. Soll, es bringt aber sehr viel, wenn es dann noch weiter läuft. Really does stand for has been kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may be looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Michaels with a roll up. Oh, yes! And it grins! Yeah! And it grins! And it's over! But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends! We gotta get this together! You gotta know something, man. It ain't never gonna be over between me and Shawn Michaels. You've gotta make a choice. It's either him or... For me, Triple H, defiant in his ways, refused to see the light 